The Illinois football team arrives in California today. The Illini are just four days away from playing in their first bowl game in five years. The buzz is building. WCI3 Sports Director Brett Barnes kicks off our coverage from San Francisco tonight. He's already there, joining us now live. Brett, how's it going out there? Good evening. It's a beautiful night here in San Francisco. The Alana expected to arrive any time, expected to land across the bay in Oakland any minute now. Then they'll journey across the bay and be here at the Hyatt Regency in downtown San Fran, where I am right now awaiting their arrival. We'll have all kinds of coverage coming up tonight at 10 on that. But we start on a newsworthy day today with several awards for the orange and blue. And it makes sense for as good of a season as they have had that these accolades continue for the Alana. Dele Harding and Blake Hayes, both named All-American picks today. Harding, a third-team selection from Phil Steele after his standout year. He's second in the NCAA in tackles and the Big Ten leader. Hayes is an honorable mention selection after winning the Big Ten Punter of the Year award. For more on him, head to WCIA.com. We caught up with his parents at 5. They made the trip all the way from Australia to be here. On top of it all, Dick Buckus adds another prestigious honor to his resume. An all-time All-American first-team member by ESPN in its list of the greatest college football players in history. The program also announced its all-decade team for offensive players today with quarterback Nathan Shieldhouse headlining the list, named the Offensive Player of the Decade. Chase McLaughlin is the kicker of the decade, along with Dre Brown, the kickoff returner. But it's Shieldhouse who stands above the rest, and for good reason. He led the Illini the last time they played here in San Francisco to a win in the Kraft Fight Hunger Bowl back in 2011. He accounted for more than 8,000 yards in his career and was a unanimous pick to win the award. Champagne's very own Mikel LaShore, also a unanimous selection to the all-decade team. The running back led Illinois in rushing yards in back-to-back -back seasons and will forever be remembered for his school record-breaking performance at Wrigley Field when he racked up 330 yards rushing against Northwestern. Colonel Illini Reggie Corbin, the other running back, he broke out last year rushing for more than 1,000 yards after putting up just 78 the year before. A.J. Jenkins, another unanimous pick after finishing his career third on the all-time receptions and yardage list, including his 12-catch, 268-yard game against Northwestern back in 2011, helping him get to the NFL. Fan favorite Mike Dudek on pace to shatter the Illini record book after his outstanding freshman season, but multiple injuries ended his career, leaving fans asking what could have been if he had stayed healthy. Gmo, Geronimo Allison, the other wideout, recognized the junior college transfer led the Illini in receptions and yards in 2015, now a big-time contributor for the Green Bay. Packers. Jeff Allen, Nick Allegretti, Ted Karras, Hugh Thornton, and Graham Posick are the linemen. For even more Illini football coverage, watch our half an hour special Bowl Bound 2019. It starts right after our newscast here at the bottom of the hour on WCIA 3. And like I mentioned, we'll have a lot more coverage coming up tonight at 10 once the Illini finally arrive here. I know a lot of anticipation for the players. They're a little bit late off their charter coming from Champaign. But depending on traffic, they should be here uh, in the next couple of minutes. We'll have all kinds of updates on WCIA.com, also on Twitter and Facebook throughout the night before we rejoin you live here from San Francisco at 10 o'clock. But for now, reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Brett Behrens. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Brett, we hope they get a lot of rest there in San Francisco, not out on the town too late tonight. Thanks.